Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. This is Chapter 5, Keywords and Metadata. And we're going to be talking about an overview of ratings, keywords, and finding stuff. In this session, I want to show you how to apply ratings to a clip, show you how to filter clips based on ratings, explain what keywords are and how to apply keywords to a clip, show you how to find clips based on keywords, and show you how to create a smart collection of keywords. Clips, or a portion of a clip, can contain two ratings, a favorite rating, keyboard shortcut to letter F, or a rejection rating, keyboard shortcut delete. And, by elimination, we have clips that are not a favorite or not rejected. You can quickly search for clips with certain ratings using the filter pop-up at the top of the event browser. However, as a key point, it's critical that you first select the hard drive you want to search before going to the pop-up. Here's how this works. I have some DSLR clips here. I've got six, seven, eight of them, I guess. And I don't like these first two. So I want to reject those two. I want to concentrate just on these really pretty shots of a kitchen counter. Well, to reject a clip, click it. That highlights it. Either hold the Command key down or the Shift key, depending upon whether the clips are next to each other, Shift key, or separated, the Command key. Now I can do one of two things. I could either press the Delete key or click this red X down here. As soon as I do, notice that there's now a red bar at the top of the clip. That indicates the clip has been rejected. Now, I haven't deleted the media. I haven't removed it. I've just simply flagged it as a clip that I don't like. But there are several clips that I do like. I like this one. Nice close-up of our kitchen guy there. And a wide shot of the kitchen guy as we move in for a you know, pan across. And we've got another version of the same thing on a medium shot. Well, I want to list those as favorites. So I'm going to grab, let's see, what shot do I want? I'm going to take the second half of this shot, and I'm going to take all, oh, uh, yeah, I like that close up. I'm going to hold the Command key down, take all of that shot, and this medium shot. Okay, so we'll take and hold the Command key down for the medium shot. Notice that I've selected two whole clips and a portion of a clip. Now, there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors going on here. If you want to select the portion of a clip, you can select a portion of a clip by itself or a portion of a clip and all of another clip. But you can't select multiple portions of clips. And if you are going to select a portion of a clip, you need to select that first before selecting whole clips. Having tried this a number of different ways, <laughs> that's the way that works the best. And now we're going to apply a favorite rating, which is a green star. And notice that there's a green bar that now appears over my clip in the selected region. First half of this is not selected. Second half is. I'll just click in the gray area to deselect my clips. Here's how the ratings really become an advantage. If I go up to this pop-up right here, I can say, don't show me my rejected clips. Notice I have eight clips. When I let go, the two rejected clips just disappeared. I haven't deleted the media. They're still on the hard disk. They're just not displayed as part of the event. Or I can say, show me my favorites. And now just my three favorite clips are selected, but notice that it's only selecting that portion of the clip that had the favorite bar. This was actually the second half of that first clip, and I'm only seeing that part that has the favorites bar on it. Or I can say, show me clips that don't have any ratings or keyword associated, and those are the four clips that don't have anything with them. So I can see all of my clips, or by going to this pop-up menu, I can take a look at just those clips that have a rating already set. But we can do far more than just add ratings to clips. We can add keywords. A keyword is, generally, a word or phrase that describes characteristics that are shared between some, but not all, media clips. Keywords can be applied automatically, during import, or manually. The best keywords apply to a limited range of clips. Keywords that apply to every clip are, generally, too broad to be useful. Keywords should use words that make sense to you. Abbreviations are not required unless that's how you like to work. For instance, I always use the letters CU to represent a close-up. Keywords can be applied to a portion of a clip, which we call a range, an entire clip, or a group of clips. Keywords can be applied during import or afterward, applied by typing or using keyboard shortcuts. 
They can be added or deleted at any time. They can be used to find or organize clips in one event or across multiple events. And they can be displayed in a number of ways within Final Cut Pro. In addition to keywords, we have keyword collections. A keyword collection is a list of all clips that contain a specific keyword for that event. Keyword collections are displayed in the event library. And these collections are simply pointers to existing media. You're not duplicating media when you add more keywords to your clips. Keyword collections appear automatically whenever you add a new keyword to a clip. In addition to keyword collections, we also have smart collections. A smart collection is a saved search that automatically updates whenever new clips meet its criteria. Like keyword collections, these are simply pointers to existing media. You're not duplicating media when you add more keywords. Think of a smart collection as similar to playlists in iTunes. However, and this is an important note, a smart collection cannot be saved if the results of the search include clips from more than one hard disk. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you how to add a keyword to a clip, a part of a clip, or a group of clips. Show you how to remove a keyword, how to find clips using a keyword collection, and how to delete a keyword collection. How to find clips containing a keyword that you entered manually using the filter icon, and create a smart collection. Here's a collection of clips featuring Dr. Vint Cerf giving a speech at Van Nuys High School a few years ago. Notice that some of these clips have a blue bar across the top, and some of these do not. The blue bar indicates those clips that have a keyword assigned to it, and those without a blue bar have no keywords. Well, we actually have two different collections of clips here. We have him giving a speech to the students, and we have an interview that we did with him prior to the speech. I want to be able to find just the speech clips or just the interview clips. So I'm going to click on the first speech clip, hold the shift key down, that selects a range of clips. Or I could just click on a single clip to select it, or I could drag across a portion of a clip to select a range within a clip. Whether you do a range or a single clip or a group of clips, you have to select what you're going to apply the keyword to. Once it's selected, we then go to the keyword icon down here. This is the keyword editor, or the keyboard shortcut is Command K. When we open it up, it says, what keyword do you want to assign? And I want to assign a keyword called HS for high school speech. Now, if you just close the window, the keyword is not assigned. <laughs> It took me a while to learn that. You have to push the Enter key. And when you do, watch the clips in two, one, poof. The keyword floats back and gets married to the clip. Now we could close this window. Notice next to the event name is a triangle. Apple calls it a disclosure triangle. I call it a twirl down. If we twirl it down, these are all the different keyword collections that we have associated with this event. We have just his high school speech clips, just the clips where he talks about the internet, which includes some speech and some interview clips. We have all of his interview clips, and we have a room tone clip, in case I need that for audio purposes. Well, the nice thing is, if I wanted to select just the clips that are the high school clips, I just click on this keyword collection, and all those clips show up. I don't have to do anything special. No special find command. And if I want to delete a particular keyboard collection, hold the command key down. And while holding the command key down, press the delete key. And that keyword is now deleted from all those clips. Well, in this case, a brilliant idea, but I don't want to do that, so I'll type Command-Z to bring it back, and there's my high school clip. So to get rid of a keyword collection, hold the Command key and press Delete. Just brought it back with Command-Z. Let's say that I want to remove a keyword from a single clip. Highlight the clip, go to the Keyword Editor, highlight the keyword you want to get rid of, and press the Delete key. And now that keyword is deleted from that clip. Clip is not deleted, clip is still there. Notice I have seven speech clips, but when I go to high school speech, I only see six of them. Why? Because one of those clips had its keyword deleted. So you can delete 
every occurrence of that keyword by deleting the keyword collection, or select the clip or range of clips that have a keyword, go to the keyword editor and delete just the keyword you want to get rid of. By the way, if you want to change a keyword, delete the old one, apply the new one, it's a lot easier. But what happens if I want to find something? I've seen already that I can find the clips using the keyword collections, but what happens if I want to find something where he's giving an interview and he's talking about the internet? Well, I've got both speech and interview clips here. How do I get just the one set? And the answer is that's what this icon does up here. When you click it, it opens up the filter tab. Now you could just click here and type part of the file name and it would find it. I'll just show this to you. Click on this and type school and all the clips that have the word school in the file name show up. But we can get much more power if we click on the icon. And I want to find all the clips that contain the keyword for interview. So I'll uncheck speech and uncheck room tone. I want to find all the clips that contain internet and interview. But wait a minute, I still have high school speech clips. And that's because of this pop-up right here. If you select include any, it includes any clip that contains either internet or interview. If you select include all, it shows only those clips that contain both internet and interview. And there are my two internet interview clips that I can now use for my project. Let's say that I want to save this search for future use. Click Smart Collection. And it says, what do you want to call it? There's a Smart Collection. I'll click it so I can change the name. I'm going to call this Interview, INTV, and Internet. Press Enter. And there's our Smart Collection. Now, if I add any more clips that have both Interview and Internet, let's just do this real quick. Here's an Interview. Let's go down to here. Select the Keyword Editor. And we'll just say Add Internet. Close this. Go back to our Smart Collection. And now we've got three clips that have both the Interview and the Internet keyword associated with it. Now we're going to spend a lot more time talking about the filter tab and smart collections and especially the keyword editor later in this chapter. What I wanted to do is just to give you a highlight of how they work. The ability to easily find clips determines how fast you edit. Final Cut also supports a two-monitor display, with one monitor displaying just the event library and the event browser. This makes working with lots of clips much easier you can find the monitor choice at the bottom of the window menu. Final Cut allows you to tag and find clips using ratings, keywords, and metadata. And we'll spend the rest of this chapter looking into all of these in more detail. My name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.